about the environment, the concerned citizens that it was aware of his FBI, whatever the issues are, civil rights in the late 50s, early 60s, they have to have an opinion on it because they're enmeshed in this information coming into the living room through TV and everybody is, quote, connected and wired to uh, be concerned about this invasion of their privacy by TV imagery in the living room. Okay. The actual consequences of, of the television and satellite environment of the 60s meant that civil rights could not happen, that the blacks could not get whatever utopia or whatever new uh, justice that Martin Luther King uh, would, uh, was working for. It would bring in a greater slavery, a greater disaster for society, because the chemical bond is abused by television. Right. And now, and now, since that is too much for the average human, the average man was to contemplate the slavery that television is going to put in him and his next seven generations, that kind of slavery. So the human being, though, is feeling the need to worry about or to have a conscience about something, because obviously a lot of crap is going on, I should be concerned about something. So that the Vietnam War or the Korean War is, is propped up as something to siphon off your human conscience or the sense that your conscience is going somewhere. So when we have images of physical death in Vietnam, that is something people can exercise their puny brains, <laughs> puny chemical brains. You know, it's the famous two line card that was made by George Thompson McClure and Susan. I have a small brain and I intend to use it. War makes the chemical body brain think it's got something to have a conscience about. It's it served up as a package uh, nostalgia for when there was just uh, the horror of chem physical body dying to distract from the psyche death over generations that the cold electronic world was bringing. And so in that sense, perhaps it becomes a, 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 uh, a more sophisticated form of entertainment. Uh, a conscience, what exactly what you say? It's the new church. And that's why, you know, people stopped going to church and thought that they were exercising their human sympathies for the pain of around them by getting into the anti-war movement. Or look at the Central Americans of the early 80s, you know, what they called the sanctuary movement. Many times the priests were involved in smuggling uh, Latin Americans here to the United States because of the war in the uh, late 70s or 80s. It's like people want to exercise the natural feeling of helping people in trouble. A lot of human beings want to exercise that sympathy. And so war gives them some practical bodies to uh, save. So and they do not, and McClune walked into the middle of that, and they thought he was so cold, Jim, James Carey complained about this, he doesn't even care about the students being drafted, he's talking about some other level, well, it sounds you told me what it's saying, but actually McClune would say, no, there's a bigger totalitarian freeze going on here that you guys aren't even dealing with. If you actually knew which war was important, you'd demand television be turned off and not be so concerned about what's going on in Vietnam. Because he said more people are covering the Vietnam War than are dying or, or serving in it. And, and, and back, you know, I was there in the 30s and 40s. When you watch movie serials, if you're an American, and you watch it on the radio, it was far away. It, the war was like way over there, something you could look at over the horizon. So visual technologies like the Bible, and organizing yourself in churches, that visual propaganda, that visual cultural numbness was seen as a viable response to something happening way far away. You know what I mean? But when the television brought it right into the homes, and we should always remember that McLuhan said, Americans go to be alone and go home to be social. When you brought the outside world, they would go naturally be a, alone in the wilderness kind of sensibility. Bring that into the living room. That creates all kinds of tensions and menacing images in the uh, heart of the social space of the American home. That's where you were social and friendly and generous, not outside. So that got all mixed up. So the uh, the war of the TV form itself caused more chaos in social and American life than the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War was just what do you call it? The figure, the red herring, to make you think that um, that's the issue. Because it's too horrifying to see what the real issue is. So and we're trying to show them what's right here, the horrifying, boundaryless mixing of everything in here, <laughs> inside the war.